Alright guys, so between the lead sniper, Google search scraper and scrapers, which of those two will be regarded as the best scraper for your business? So we are going to find out right here in this video. As you all know guys, that my aim and purpose of this channel is to bring to you the best among the best tools that will help you and your business stand out amongst the others. So never try to miss out on any of my videos because the tool you could be looking for might just be a video away. So with all this being said, let's go ahead and pick the best tool between the Lead Sniper, Google Search Scraper and the Scraper Scraping tool. So I'm going to be reviewing the both tools simultaneously. Now starting with Scrapebox, okay? So this is a software you will need to purchase for the sum of $97 and install into your computer for usage. So this is actually a software that would need to be installed and could place a heavy load on your computer when using it. Unlike the Lead Sniper tool that simply works as an extension on your computer browser. And now the best part about the Lead Sniper extension is that this doesn't place heavy usage on your computer and slows it down. Now to know how to install this extension into your computer, I needed to check out this video right here where I get to teach you how to install the tool rightly into your computer. Alright, so now with the Scrapebox tool right here at our screen, this is actually what the user interface looks like. Now firstly, we are going to go ahead and start using this tool for scraping and we are going to be comparing the result and so many other things alongside. Now firstly, we are going to be adding our targeted keyword. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and add in just a single keyword for this purpose, okay? And that is going to be plumber. Now, once I impute that, I'm going to go ahead and click on start harvesting. And right here, you can see all those search engines available that our data will be extracted from. Now, the next thing for me to do is to click on start right below. And once I do that, you see right here that the scrape boss begins to extract some data that we might be needing almost immediately. Now, this is all good. Now, one thing I want you to understand about Scrapebox is that Scrapebox doesn't give you a precise data on what you want to get. And now, why is this so? The reason is this. We had no option of choosing our targeted location. So, even with the fact that we are able to choose the exact niche and the industry we want to get our data from, we were still not given the opportunity to choose the precise location that we want to get them from. Now, for the Lead Sniper Google Search Scraper, which requires few steps, which is for us to just impute the keywords we want to get our data from, and we are good to go. Now, the rest of this is not our consign. The tool does it all by scraping and scraping exactly all the data we need now i want to note something okay you can see right here on my dashboard that this particular box here is what contains my keyword so my keyword is combination of the industry i want to get data from alongside the location that i am targeting so it's not possible for me to want to get data from nigeria and i'm getting data of people in the uk it's not possible here on the lead sniper to provided that you are giving those two the accurate keywords to use which is combination of your targeted niche or industry followed by your exact location now right here you can see where we have the email type section i want you to go with public emails because that's what i chose and for the website source i left it at none and the url should also be up on this none as well and the country should be united states for me because that is the location that i am targeting so and the rest is what i left on default now this actually the settings i have here is based on my own preference so you yourself can go ahead and use the exact preference you want so right before we jump back to scrape boss i could just go ahead and speed up my game all right by using the lead sniper google search scraper on another of my browser exactly the same process of adding my keywords and the targeted locations and you can see that we have multiple browsers doing the same work for us so one browser here is scraping and another is also scraping for me now coming back to scrape boss you can see that we are done and ready to export our data so i'm going to go ahead and click on export now i want you to just select the export all data as excel file now once you've been able to do that go ahead and give this a name all right good now look here you can see right here where we have grab and check option go ahead and select grab emails by crawling site so good so once you do that click on start and here you can see that scrape boss will do all the scraping and here you have scrape boss scraping all the data we are seeing on my computer screen now, once satisfied with what you have, go ahead and open up this folder here. Open target folder and here you have your result. Now, looking at the result we have here on Scrapebox, you can see that we have only emails being extracted and displayed. Nothing else was extracted apart from emails alone.
And if you still look closely, you will see that some of the provided emails here are not so good. Okay, you can see that the emails right here, this was I highlighted in red. You can see that they are not emails. They are basically something that we don't really know what they are. So I think this is something that Scribble should be able to fix to avoid many problems and errors for we users. So this is everything for Scribbles on how to go ahead and start extracting data using the tool. Now look at that of the Lead Sniper Google Search Scraper, which is the best that I still prefer myself. Now once I'm done with the extraction, I can go ahead and export all my data and choose how to export my data. Okay, so I can click on export right here. You can see that I can have my data being downloaded either as a CXV file or a different format. So I'm going to go ahead, um, I'm going to go with the popular one, which is the CXV format. So initially once i click on it it's going to get downloaded automatically into my computer and now i'm just going to you can see right here so i'm going to go ahead and um, open up this right now and you can see that we have a large data table compared to that of Scrapebox. So if you look at Scrapebox, Scrapebox were only able to get only emails and most of the emails here are not emails. They are just um, garbage from the net, right? And you can see that of the lead sniper, you can see that it's actually quite different. Everything we need are right here. All the data that we can be thinking of or we need for our business, we can find them right here on this large data table. So you can see that from emails to phone contact to website URLs to social media URLs and many more helpful informations, these are everything that we can find here on the Lead Sniper Google Search Scraper Data Resort we got. So no much talk here guys, you can see for yourself the difference between the Scrapebox tool and the Lead Sniper Google Search Scraper. So what I want you to do is to go ahead and choose which one of those two you'll be using to start scraping data for your business right on net. So I have a special link in the video description box below and also pinned in the comment section. So if you go ahead and click on it, it's going to bring you over to the Lead Sniper Google Search Scraper official website where you can have more details about those tools and also have access to their pricing plans which is in three packages each having their own unique future and a one-time payment for any of the plans you choose to go with so quickly guys let me hear your thoughts in the comment section below and if you have any questions you can go ahead and ask me and i'll do well to answer all your questions thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my other videos please take care of yourself and bye